cannot negotiate this point. <laughs> Impossible. This is an historical event. I know that you have been a guest in Israel and it is not your first visit. Nevertheless, it is the first visit of Prime Minister of Singapore here in Israel. And we are welcoming you, Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, we knew and we heard and we learned and we appreciated the, the legacy and the, everything that uh, Singapore is resembling and the great, uh, really, uh, task that your father have held uh, during his years and uh, I was honored and I had the opportunity to be in the, uh, really in the funeral of one of the greatest leaders in our generation and uh, I welcome the Prime Minister of uh, Singapore and the son of a great man and a great leader by himself uh, to Israel. Uh, the connection between our two people is very well known and uh, we appreciate those connection, these connections and um, we appreciate uh, everything that is uh, being done uh, in your wonderful uh, democracy. I see parliamentarians along with you and it gives me a lot of uh, really uh, pride about the idea of parliamentarians at all and the role that they are taking in the, um, uh, towards their people. I have been the speaker of the Israeli parliament uh, for many years and I know how to appreciate uh, the way and the idea that uh, the people are being represented by their own, um, uh, by their own representatives. Uh, you know what uh, we are just now uh, watching uh, going all around the, our region and what is going on in Europe and um, the idea that um, there are um, uh, winds of ideas that the state is not something that we should appreciate, that um, ideas, general ideas, uh, should uh, <laughs> be instead of the, the idea of living nations side by side in friendship and in cooperation. Uh, what is going on is a phenomenon that every one of us have to take uh, uh, a lot of uh, responsibility to find a way uh, in order to be part of uh, the um, ideas and the uh, uh, people who are really stopping every kind of uh, fundamentalism and the spirit of uh, saying that um, there is no need for nations and there is no need for state. Um, the ideas and the fundamentalism are the uh, feelings that should run uh, our lives. This is a real danger, not only uh, to uh, the Middle East, also to um, the, the Far East, uh, also to the entire Eastern Asia, and um, actually what is going on in Europe is also something uh, to be um, really um, worried and uh, very concerned about. Anyhow, uh, I know that you came here, you will have uh, many meetings along with the people that uh, you know very well uh, that are visiting uh, your country and uh, your state, and uh, the cooperation between our two states could bring a lot of prosperity to the entire world, and we are proud, very proud, to be um, partners and to be friends, uh, in spite of uh, some uh, possibilities of differences of opinion between us uh, from time to time. Welcome. Welcome to Israel. Welcome to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Welcome as a great man. Thank you so very much, Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, thank you, President Rivlin. Thank you for receiving me and my delegation so warmly. It's indeed a great honor and a pleasure to be here visiting Israel again and to be able to call upon you. First, I'd like to thank you for having uh, honored us with your presence at my fu father's funeral just over a year ago. It reflected the friendship between the, our two countries and peoples and the high regard in which uh, we hold one another. Uh, our relations go back a long way to almost the moment of our independence in 1965, and they have developed since then, starting with uh, ties between our armed forces but developing into many fields, education, R&D, business, high-tech, um, cultural cooperation. And I'm very happy that my trip here will, I hope, be able to give it a s further push forward and take it to another level. And I'm sure that many things will follow from that and it will benefit both of us. 
Uh, we watch your region closely. I'm sure you watch our part of the world with some interest too. Uh, we see the complexities and the difficulties which uh, face the Middle East and we hope that you will be able to work them out and be able to make progress and as, uh, emerge with a stabler, more peaceful and more prosperous region. We are friends with Israel, we are friends with uh, the Palestinians and uh, our message to both is uh, the problems are difficult but you have our best wishes in working them out patiently, gradually and we hope in a way which will strengthen trust and mutual partnership between two peoples who have to live together in two states, side by side.